Hello everyone, Galactic Storm here. Welcome to the show, and today we are going to be reviving the Command & Conquer Rivals Guide, in which we are going to cover the GDI tech units. So the GDI tech units, oh, the building itself, is the most expensive building that you can get. It's around 150 Tiberium to get. And every time you buy a building, which is the barracks, war factory, helipad, it reduces the cost by 30 Tiberium. So if you get the, I would say, the war factory and the barracks, it would then be 90 Tiberium to get. So it makes it a little bit cheaper to get. But the units are no by means cheap. They'll be either expensive, moderately expensive, or just very expensive to get. So the best idea to get them is to either run double harvester decks or destroy the enemy's harvesters and that way you would be able to get all of your units in without having a fuss. So all the units can either take on uh, aircraft, they can take down all kinds of infantry or even land vehicles too or perhaps both or three of them at the same time depending on what you want. And just do be warned that they also can be vulnerable to other tech units, infantry, vehicles, but that depends on what unit we're doing. So, without further ado, let's review these units. The Wolverine. The Wolverine is the cheapest unit within the tech lab. This chicken walker stomps like a toddler with no depth perception. But don't be fooled by this piece of shit. This thing can mow down any kind of infantry like a weed whacker on grass or meat on a meat grinder. God, I need a McDonald's at this point. Uh, this means any kind of infantry, from laser squads, grenadiers, mutant marauders, or even the humble zone troopers and cyborgs. To make it even worse, it can put a whole bunch of holes in air units too. Talons and banshees will go bye bye much faster than the wolverine will. The biggest weakness however is vehicles, and it does little to no damage to them. So even a pit bull or even a set of attack bikes can basically destroy this thing let alone tanks or even like ranged units like the MRS or the Giga Cannon. Even simple tech and temple units too can also eradicate this thing. But by my uh, preference, the Wolverine is not uh, the most recommended because it doesn't do well with vehicles and that and a lot of the elite players would be playing those vehicles so it would have very limited use. The Disruptor if you think the Wolverine is death by meat grinder, delicious. Then the Disruptor is death by very loud shit in your ears. The Disruptor is more expensive than said Wolverine. It moves just as slow, but is more armored than its walking toy. It can take out infantry very quickly, with just one shot. But the most devastating effect is that it will do it from two tiles away. And this includes all kinds of infantry, especially the zone troopers and the cyborgs. So most infantry will be raped with just one shot and the heavier units like the grenadiers or the zone troopers will need at least two. What's even worse is that this thing can ear rape your entire base with just a couple of shots, so it needs to be dealt with very quickly. It can't take down aircraft and it doesn't do any damage to vehicles. So with recommendations, use orcas, banshees, or even use tanks to take them out really quickly. The Jaegernaut. Wait, what? 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 The Juggernaut? Oh, okay. The Juggernaut. If you like long-range artillery and bomb the everlasting shit out of one place, the Jaegernaut is your best answer. It's a bipedal vehicle, just like the Wolverine and the Titan. It walks very slow, and must must set up before you can do anything. When it's set up, prepare your anus. It'll fire a few shells within the general direction and would destroy basically everything. Units like infantry and light vehicles will be destroyed within a couple of hits. And then heavier vehicles, just like tanks, will be destroyed within the same motion. But it does have a huge weakness. Heavier vehicles, just like the GDI Sandstorms or even the Temple Tech units, will only take a couple of hits and then it will be able just to go in directly and to attack the Juggernaut. It cannot attack the first tile too, so it will make it very vulnerable, so have it protected with a missile squad or anything that is vehicle or infantry wise. 
it also is very vulnerable to aircraft so an orca a banshee or even like the basilisk can take it down very quickly without little effort so have it protected too from the skies if you can the zone troopers or what i would like to call them beefy boys they're the elite troops of the gdi world and work somewhat like the cyborgs do from nod they come in a pair too, unlike other infantry, and walk just as slow as a bunch of grenadiers would. But they absolutely annihilate vehicles and aircraft. Vehicles such as rhinos, attack bikes, and pit bulls will be taken down very quickly. Likewise with the tanks, or other ranged units. They can also destroy tempo and tech units just as efficient, but with some time. They take down most air units very quickly too, such as the talons, the banshees, even the laser drones or the drone swarms. They can also really work well against bombers too, like the Inferno and the Orca Bomber. But what sets them up from the cyborgs is that they don't have any MP effect on their shots, but out of combat, they can heal, even if one of the units dies. But as good as these things are, they absolutely suck from infantry. So you could use flame troopers, chemical warriors, or shockwaves to take them down. Hell, you can even use multiple mil militants or riflemen. And it would absolutely die from the likes of wolverines, flame tanks, etc, etc, etc. The Kodiak. The Kodiak is the flying option for GDI. These things are heavily armored and they fly like a giant turd in the wind. It fires onto vehicles and causes nasty damage onto the most formidable of foes. It can one-shot a light unit, while it can do like two shots on heavier units like tanks. And it can do some very nasty damage on two Templar tech units too, depending on which ones. But it can also attack onto its front tile, the left of that title, or tile, or the right of it, so it can take down more than just one unit. Sadly, it has a slow rate of fire and a slow movement speed, and it can only take out vehicles. Infantry can also be taken out with it, but it'll be very slow, and it has no reply to aircraft, so anything from hammerheads or even phantoms can take them out, but it will take some time. Likewise with multiple infantries like missile squads and that. You can also use zone troopers and even cyborgs to take them out too. The Sandstorm. The Sandstorm is similar to the Kodiak as it fires up to the three tiles in the front of it, the front, and the left and right of it, so it can take on multiple units, but it doesn't fire a huge ass gun, oh no. It fires a lot of potato missiles at it, but these aren't just ordinary potato missiles. These missiles can take down many vehicles on offer, just as quickly, and it can also take down aircraft just as easily. Heavily armored units will need some time, but it cannot take on all of them at the same time because it has some lower health. At that point, it's fucked. But the best way to take down a sandstorm is to spew up heavier units, like tanks or infantry, just like moon marauders or grenadiers. However, uh, these things can be very useful for taking down multiple units at once, depending on which ones they are. So it can be a fan favorite to many of the people within this community. The Titan. And no, we're not talking about the uh, the Titans from Attack on Titan, that's, that's a different thing. The Titans are your last walking boys on this list. You get these with the Wolverine right from the start, but you gotta learn how to use these things, otherwise it's gonna be a complete waste of space. It walks slow, just like the Wolverine, so think of it as a toddler with boots on. It has an armorant with a projectile gun on it that can fire from not just one, but two tiles away. It can destroy most war factory vehicles with just one hit, and the heavier vehicles like tanks, temples, or tech units will take a huge chunk of damage out of it. The thing is, just like the Kodiak, it can only take on vehicles. It cannot do anything to aircraft, and it does pitiful damage on infantry. It also has a lot of health, very similar to that of the Kodiak, so you can use it for a set of uses. You can use this thing to take on uh, Harvesters, which are they can be very easily taken out by a Titan with just two hits. So even with a missile squad or a grenadier squad on them, 
they can easily still take him down without being destroyed. Or you can also use them as tile units too. So you can easily block them and just make them very stubborn people just to take to contest a pad in that. Or even you can use them to block pads entirely just to move left and right to make them lose a missile with that or lose the game entirely. They are a little bit more expensive than some of the other units, but they are definitely worth the cost if you know how to use them. The Mammoth Tank The last and most expensive unit on this list is this thing. Mammoth Tanks are one of the most iconic units within the entire series. It moves very slow, and costs just as almost as two Titans or even two Sandstorms. They can do severe damage to whatever vehicle they're challenging, thanks to those two big thick guns of those. Most War Factory units will be dead within two shots. Tempo and Tech units will take longer, but they will be taken out just as efficiently. The best thing they can do is that they can turn all infantry into pancakes, or hamburger, or anything that's flat. They will be instantly killed right when they try to fight them, only to be hamburger right into the tank's tracks. It can also fire air units too, with a single rocket, though like I said, it's just a single rocket, and it will do very little damage to those air units. Fuck! So it does have a weakness. The best way to take down the mammoth is by using air units, like shades, mohawks, or even orcas, or even the ranged units like the Kodiak or the Basilisk. But honestly, protect this with a slingshot or a hammerhead, and it's gonna be game over for the enemy. Oh, well, well that's the end of it. Thank you all very much for watching. Be sure to like, favorite, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and be sure to look at my Facebook page down below. And yes, it's the end of the GEI units, but we still have one more episode to do. So next time we are going to be reviewing the Nod uh, Temple units. Oh, that's going to be fun. Until then, Galactic Storm saying, keep charging, bitches.